3rd of June, 5th of July. Oh, it's always two days ahead of us. It's always two days ahead. Right, we'll chase him down. It's not a problem. We'll chase him down and we'll get there eventually. He's going to Oriole. We'll go to Oriole. Now, uh, Cat and Mouse. <sighs> rot. Rot in the cells. Until this war is over, you will rot. And then you will die for daring to join the war. In fact, he didn't have a choice in the matter, did he? It's his liege that joined the war. He had to follow, he had to do as his liege said. Okay, we'll spare him. We'll spare him. We'll, we'll ransom him. Oh, peasants have revolted. It's all kicking off here, man. It's all kicking off. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. That is uh, some foreign language for what the hell's going on here? This is just too much. Right, now we've got him. Now we've got him. Nowhere to run now, buddy. Spy masters for Hugh de Normandy? I don't know, Bedford died. Oh my god. You got us so well with him. I am brave. Yes, I am a brave man. I hunt balls in my sleep and I chop down rebel scum. Gotcha. You bloody dogs, right. Let's go and take what is rightfully ours on this god of claim. Let it go for now. Bloody hell, he's a swift worker, isn't he? We haven't even finished taking this one yet. <laughs> I knew well there was a reason why I spared you after you tried to plot to take my title. I knew there was a reason. But we'll have to keep an eye on him. He's obviously very, very savvy in diplomacy and he'll be plotting and scheming his way to my throne somehow. Just have to be wise to that trick. Right, what are these? Oh, look at these plebs down here, these little minions. Okay, a few more factions are rising up, but not too many. 31%, that's quite a large one. Prince, people want to put my son on the throne. Why? He's useless. He's young, yes, but youth isn't everything. Old people can be good too, you know. I mean, why would... Look at this. My diplomacy has actually risen from... From... From, uh, from one to five. In this short time of me being king... I'm getting a bit better with diplomacy. I'm maybe taking in a few of the lessons that have been taught to me by my by my chancellor, becoming a bit more savvy in the art of social social engagements and things like that. That's very good. I like it. Keep going, keep going, old Thurston, Sonny Jim. You might still have some hope for your left. Okay, he's down to four thousand men. How many men can we raise? We can't raise any more. I really do with uh, some more help up here. Thirty-seven percent. I wonder if we'll capitulate at about sixty. I doubt it, to be fair, but uh, one can hope. Right, Dublin. We could assault this. This is like poxy little six hundred and sixty odd men. I mean, for God's sakes, come on, put them to the sword. Technological advances. We want to go up in... I think we'll go for town infrastructure this time. And we want to go for military organisation for the extra retinue. And we've won the fight. 78%. 880. Uh, we'll siege out a bit more of that first. Starve them out a bit and finish them off. And we've got a righteous imprisonment. Duke Torf of Connacht. What's he, what's he plotting? Oh, it's... This bloody what's up with Kent? Just end the plot, okay? I don't want to see Kent granted to anybody else. So why should you? Eh? Why should you be any different? Just let me fight my wars and leave me be. Right. We're very close here. We are very close to seeing some heads rolling. But oh, it's going to be fun watching them fly. Okay, the Siege of Lothian. Siege of... Siege of Lothian? Siege of Edinburgh. 
10% every 12 days, that's pretty quick. We'll just keep uh, <coughs> keep it ticking over. Okay, by my reckoning, we've been going for about an hour now. I think that's pretty close. But I want to see these walls end before I end the session. So I think we'll just sort of plod along a bit more. See how it goes. And if something else major happens, we'll pause it. Like another war that starts or something. But for the time being, we'll just go with the flow. Look at that! Only two more in the two more in the red. That's it. As soon as we got those converted, we're back to an entire green... Mind you, a lot of the red people are all at war with us at the minute. <laughs> That's probably why. Duke Albert is... No! Ooh! Why? Why, why, why? He's 34! It's a bigger stress. Looks like, looks like Prince Turstin was working him too hard. Oh man, oh, man, oh man, oh man. Who's Chancellor now? Ooh, you, you're better. Ah, come forth, come hither. Uh, improve diplomatic relations. That would be handy. We'll just, we'll just keep him there for now. We don't need any of his help. Lovely. So we lose one high, sp high uh, <laughs> diplomacy chancellor and we uh, replace him with a, an even higher one, which is rather <laughs> fortunate. Very fortunate indeed. Right, okay. Keep going. Let's keep going. Right, let's have a look here. Oh, yes. Excellent. 91%. You sure you don't want to end now? You, you sure you don't want to uh, capitulate? No. You want us to literally beat down your last door okay he probably knows what's coming that's why he knows that the king does not take too kindly Ooh, ooh. we can call her into a war for some bizarre reason you're still in the duchess aren't you yes her daughter still Oh, we've got a child. Oh, you've got a daughter, Juliana Fleming. Oh, isn't that sweet? And she's weak. Okay, it's not good. She's still possessed. Do you ever lose the possessed trait? Not too sure about that. Anyway, keep on fighting. Six hundred and eighty-eight to ten to one ratio. I think we can take that down pretty swiftly. Excellent told you so and we'll let them replenish and then we'll beat that door down as well <sighs> yes I think Scotland might fall pretty quickly here capitulation at its finest right and go again ding 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 and the doors yeah boom boom poof 67% excellent move on swiftly Speaking of doors being bashed down, should we bash these buggers down as well, eh? Should we bash these buggers? Should we? No, we'll wait. Slow and painful. He can see death inching ever closer. Yes. We'll let you die slowly. Very, very slowly. <laughs> Sadistic, eh? Sadistic. Sadistic, Thurston. You're a nasty man. Dee 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 dee. How's this? This is all quite a highly defended place. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Dee 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 dee. Time to die. Time to die. Dee 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 dee. Yes, Cornier. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and there we go. Excellent job. Right, okay, time to uh, force the demands. 
So, uh, Enforce. Excellent. He's now in prison. And we have righteous imprisonments now. El Edward of Tyro. Oh, he's a child. He's a child. He's a child, man. How old is he? He's 11. We might spare a child. What we'll do is we'll imprison him and then we'll release him. Shall we do that? Teach him a lesson? Yes, we'll do that. Safely locked away. Excellent. We'll do that. And then uh, try to imprison Duke Toby of Munster. Yes, you. 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 He's quite a powerful man. We need to get ensure that our spy master is ready for him. Right, where's Munster? Where are you? Where's Munster? You were caught in Bunratty. He's in Thormund. Right, let's get our spy master up here. Where is he? Where is he? Come forth. Come forth here. Yeah, we need you. No, it's not you, is it? Forget what I'm saying. It's a it's a rest chance, isn't it? Isn't it a rest chance? It's our marshal that increases a rest chance. A rest chance sixteen percent, yeah. You come over here, right, sorry, right, okay, getting confused. Let's try again. Imprison this man. Imprison. Seventy three percent based on our state intrigue. Is that higher? I think it's higher. Yes, lock away, lock away. Earl of Orwood, lock away, yes, lock him down. Ulster, you as well, lock him away as well, yes, lock them all up. Lock them all up, man. They dare, they dare to try and take me off my throne, do they? Right, you, me, I'm leading this army after all. I'm off to Galloway. <laughs> I'm marching to Galloway whilst these people rot in cells, eh? Anyway, we have prisoners to deal with. Who shall we deal with first? Earl of Ulster? No. John of Meath, the instigator himself? Yes. Let's take a wee peek here. Take a wee peek here at what we can do with him. <sighs> okay, we can revoke a title. He's revoked the Duchy of Meath, and that really doesn't mean a great deal, I don't think, because he'll still have something left. We could execute, but it's, it's viewed as tyrannical. Tyrannical to execute the man that plotted this. We could banish him. Even worse. Or we can ransom. We can assassinate, we can do all, we can do all sorts. Okay, well, we'll deal with him in a second then. Let's deal with the lesser people first. Let's deal with the lessers, shall we? Okay, okay, right. Edward, you're a child. You're a child. We've put you in the cells uh, to teach you a lesson. We've shown him around and said, this is, this is where you come if you ever dare to rise up against your king again. You'll stay in these cells and rot. It's dark, it's damp, it's smelly, it's awful. Do you want to end up here, child? No, you don't. Okay. Guided tour over, pay us a ransom fee for your services, and you can go home. Okay? Excellent. Right, John. John of Desmond. Why is he in my prison? He's been in prison for one year. Release this man. Oh, he was caught in the war, yes, he's he he was he he was duty bound to join the war. We we forgive you. It's fine. Right, who else? Let's just move on. Aubrey of Oriel. What to do with you, Aubrey? What to do with you? I'm, I just don't believe that we can have a man that, with a title that dares to rise up against us. Do you? Can you see it? Can you see how this works? I can't see how executing these people is, is, is tyrannical. They've, they've rose up against me. But anyway, we'll revoke your title then. Eh, you traitorous dog. You traitorous dog. And then ransom as well. Ten gold pieces. Ten gold pieces? Really? Is that all you're worth? No, you can rot in cells, mate. You can rot in the cells. Edward, we let him out. We've ransomed him. John is going to die. Toby, oh, he's a he's a 
dastardly one, isn't he? He's a dastardly one. What can we revoke? We can revoke the Duchy of Munster from him. The Duchy of Munster. What does exactly does he lose? Because he's... He has to lose something, doesn't he? He just has to lose something. He he can't go on like this. Right, anyway. Now, um... Let's execute. It's now release. Ransom. That's good. You can pay us for the privilege. You lose a title and you can pay us as well. That's good. And you. You. Get rid of him. He's not even a bloody Fleming person, is he? Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid. Right, okay. Okay, right, military intrigue. <coughs> and John. I'm sorry, John. It's going to cost me a bit of uh, a bit of the old opinion and piety, but I can't allow you to live. You were the instigator. The one that rose up first and coerce these people to join your cause. I cannot physically stomach to look at you. Bye. <laughs> we have to get one execution in there somehow, surely, you know what I mean? So he dies. His daughter takes control. She's going to hate us because we killed her father. And uh, it looks like we have a bit more tinkling to do. Right, we've got too many lands. We have to give some away. So we now have these two. So we need to give those away. Okay. Let's see how that's going to work out very shortly. And then there's no more duchy. It's, uh... He has those two lands. That's a count in prison and that's a count there. So there's no duchy title now down here, which is fine. We could create it and start again, but I think we'll just have Ireland as it is for now. Just with counts, just to prevent this from happening again until we get some stability. So, uh, we're happy with how it is. What we'll do is we'll just give away these two pieces of land Ulster and Oriel. Right. Let's get back to the old Fleming dynasty tree. And let's focus on who we might want to give some land to. William, if Sylvester, he's. can't do it. Right, okay. William, William, and Gerard, and he's got William, and look at all these sons. Uh, Peter, spy master of Northampton. You fancy being the uh, Earl of a uh, county over in Ireland? Ulster, perhaps? Of course you do. Off he pops. And Andrew, can you take a title? Yes, you can. So, uh, you can have the county of Oriel. Excellent. And there you go. Marvellous. So, uh, there we are. Pay for the ransom. Excellent. So, one, two, three, four counts up there. He is the Duke of Connacht. He has those two. The Duke of Meath is now this daughter of the previous dog. Uh, I am here, he has two lands there, and there's two counts there. He's been released, does he like me? I don't think he will. Minus 100 opinion. I wonder if we can... We can't revoke any more titles, can we? No, we can't revoke any more titles. So, uh, yeah, he's an angry little man, but his power has been diminished considerably. Now a lowly count. <laughs> Like it or lump it, Buster. Like it or lump it. Anyway. As we now look to the vassal opinions. Let's take a wee peek. Yeah, okay. Earl, Earl of Tyrone. Minus 91. Oh dear. I have too many duchies. Oh. oh, I see. I see. Which duchies do I have now? I have the Duchy of Munster. Oh, I am the Duke of Munster. I can give it to one of these guys then. Okay, that makes better sense. Right. Who are you? Minus six. Earl John of Desmond. I'm not going to him. Anyway, that's for sure. Uh, you? You. I like you. You can have it. There we go. 
marvellous. So he has the now the Duke of Munster. So Duke and Count of Desmond, Duke of Munster, he has control of that, that and that. Marvellous, so I don't have to worry about these guys. I have that. Ah, that's lovely. That's better. I will read every word. I'm a learned man. So that should help the situation a little bit. And I gained too. My God, my learning's increased. I have improved my learning. I need a new ambition. A new ambition. Improved diplomacy. I've gone down to I've gone down to two diplomacy from five. Something's gonna miss there, surely. Right, okay. So where was I? I was looking at the vassal opinions here. Earl of Tyrone. Nothing I can do about that, really. Earl of Cornier, Duchess of Meath. Okay, little girly. What are you going to do, little girly, eh? You're going to come and raise up against me, little girly? I don't think so, child. Do you want your head lopping off as well? I can do that, you know. I'm not afraid to execute people. Duke of Connacht. Oh, a spy master's gone. No. Dead. He's dead. Okay. Right, that's fine. We're happy with that. Need a new spy master. We don't have a great deal of great spy masters, but uh, that'll do, I suppose. Right, 75%. As soon as this war with Scotland is over and we claim the county of Dunbar, that will be, I think, it for today. Complaining? Aubrey? Oh. My heart bleeds. Right, there's Aubrey and there's Ualta. He's a Fleming. His opinion of me, or his opinion of his liege. Am I his liege? Who's his liege? No, he's not me. His opinion of me is terrible. But he doesn't have any land anymore. Is he worth any money? Ten gold? No. You know what? I have to make an example of some people. Two people were released and stripped of their titles. Two people were stripped of their titles and were rotten in the cells. And one person was executed. No rhyme or reason to the methods of my madness. Almost like a random lucky dip. Balls in a hat. And whichever gets picked out. Oh, ooh, you've picked out the death ball. I'm afraid you're going to have to die. And for you, and do 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 do. And oh, revocation of title. And you're just going to have your title revoked, but you will be released. <laughs> like a lottery. Looking at the horror on the prisoners' faces as their, as their, their fates are decided by pure chance. Crowds of people gathered round, clapping and drinking wine at the spectacle. <laughs> Sick and sadistic, eh? <laughs> Play with people lies in such a fashion. Right, we should be we should be near enough done here. Let's get this war finished. We're gonna lose a few men, I agree. Ooh, maybe this was a bad choice actually. Lost a few men there. Ooh, gosh. Bit of impatience there creeping in. This is the retinue, so it will replenish, of course. It takes a bit of time, but it'll get there. Let the morale replenish up to full, and then we'll take down the, uh, the bishopric. Come on, get a move on. What's going on here? It's like getting blood from a stone. I'm fully in charge of this army as well. Slightly losing cash. Right, okay, let's go again. Excellent, 90%. Okay, are you going to capitulate, King? Do you really want to go through this? Okay, he does. That's fine, just, just asking, just checking, you know, just checking. Many lesser men would have crumbled before now, but not you, obviously. And for that, I have to give you some respect. Not much, but I'll give you some. I can actually, uh, I think, get another batch of retinue here. My retinue is up to 9,000. Holy smokes! I can get a fair few more men <laughs> with that. Couple more longbow retinues. And another defence retinue, perhaps? 
7,700. Even that's not much more. We'll go for another one of them. 8,005. Another one of them. That's like 9,000. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So how many have we got now coming? That's another... One, two, three, four, five. Is it 500 per arm? So I can actually 2,500 men. They're replenishing at uh, a fairly swift rate. Nine per month. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. So I've got so is that six. Is that six thousand at their at their utmost capacity? Can't remember. Put it this way: there's going to be a decent amount of longbow soldiers, and that's all that matters, right? Thanking you, and that is the end of that. Get these back into England. I'm going to get these eh, on the borders, just ready to pound. Eh, go there. No, go here. So, by my reckoning, then. By my reckoning. If we go to the du jour county of Lothian, or the Duchy of Lothian, we can create that title. And then press the claim up here. We have a truce with this man though, so we have to sort him out first. But we'll end it there I think. So uh, a few things have been sorted in this session. The king has gained stability amongst the vassals. He's going to be expanding the retinue troops giving England even more military might. And uh, we've captured another county, which takes us that little incy-wincy bit further to the 80% that we need to be able to create this empire. Will Turston be the first Fleming emperor? The first ever emperor? Of Britannia? Find out next time! See you soon!